Sign up at the end of this review to get my personal gear list. The binding of an acoustic guitar actually adds a bit of a trim, if you will. Aesthetically, it separates the sides from the top and the back. Now, I'm not talking about this little design here. I'm talking about the very edge, which brings me to my next point. The edge of the guitar is susceptible to damage from mic stands, banjo players mostly. Anyway, it can actually be hit. Now, if this was just a wood to wood joint, you'd be hitting wood at a seam and likely cause a seam split. Now with a bound side, what actually happens is the plastic or other hardwood material that the binding may be made out of will absorb some of that impact and not cause a seam split. Perfling, which is this little design on the front, is actually a very nice aesthetic touch found on most guitars. On this particular guitar, it's a herringbone pattern, mostly common with the Martin Company. Now, you'll also run into different guitars where it's either abalone or mother of pearl. This is just a decoration so that as you're looking at the front of the guitar, you say, wow, that guitar catches my eye, that looks cool. On this Taylor presentation series, you can see that the purfling, both on the side and the top, is of abalone, and the binding is of a dark ebony. This custom shop, D18, from the NAMM show, actually has Madagascar rosewood binding and a very, very thin black line of purfling. Go to AcousticLetter.com now to view the complete acoustic guitar guide. Click the button to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos like this, plus guitar comparisons, demos, and our one-of-a-kind and limited-run guitars from Gibson, Martin, and Taylor.